As I mentioned, our office isn't in a flood risk area and it's on a hill, but we've still had water ingress coming into our warehouse. So we're having some negative waterproofing, which is a type of enhanced property flood resilience. What we're doing is slurry tanking the real wall where the water comes in. And as you can see, the first step in the process um, is to install a fillet seal, which joins the weak point, which is the wall and the floor gap. So the gap between the two that allows water in. So we're working with Safeguard. We have used their universal mortar to create this fillet seal. We'll let that go off and then we will slurry render with tanking solution. Just the um, first couple of courses of block work and that should stop the water from getting inside. It's not ideal to apply this over a painted surface, but we didn't have any choice here. You can see it's been applied two courses high, and then once it had dried, we painted it and it looks really neat. But this could be ideal behind plasterboard, for instance. You'd never know it was there and it'd keep the water out. Since applying it, we haven't had any water come in through this wall.